Good morning, world. Good morning. Well, I guess we can all come to the conclusion that blackface is wrong. Would you say that's wrong? You're hesitating? Yeah. I don't know. I. It's a taboo in our society. It is a taboo. Yes, and we've all decided that blackface is wrong, and that's when someone who is not a POC... We've decided. Yes, yes, whoever they are, decide that a person who puts on black pan in their face and goes out and pretending to be a POC is wrong. And we all said, okay, maybe that's wrong. But you know there's a new taboo out there that just came about in recent weeks, and that is digital blackface. What the heck is digital blackface? What do we meme? <laughs> we'll tell you coming up. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. And this is Cedric and Brian. Alright, the reason I hesitated is what if somebody, like a child dressed up as Black Panther or Michael Jackson or something like that, and he's not black, is that wrong? Oh, it depends. Are you talking about Michael Jackson when you first got started or Michael Jackson later on? You know what I'm saying. That way you can be white and go still go as Michael Jackson. Did you ever go as Superman or Batman as a kid? Yes, I was, okay. I was Batman. Okay, so you were allowed to do something that was played by a white guy. Right. But if I were to dress up as a as Black Panther, let's say, and let's say it was just a mask. Right. Not, I didn't paint my face. Right. But what's the, I, I know where it came from. It was the old minstrels and the old, you know, people doing the vaudeville with the black face, right. acting all goofy, like I, I don't know, the term you used to use. Right. But um, what if you're just dressing up as somebody that you admire? Well, I think you and I have in common sense would say that's okay because as a young kid, yeah, I dressed up as, as B Batman. I went as Spider-Man, but I didn't color my face. I think that's where the rubber meets the road. I went as, I went as a... We talked about this. What about the movie White Chicks? They covered, colored their faces white. Right. Be, I mean, I had no problem with that. Right. They were trying to, you know, they were pretend. Right. It's make believe, folks. Yeah. It's not doing a minstrel show. If I don't, and, and I can't say, I, obviously, I can't say it because I'm not a POC. Right. Although, you know, somebody asked if I was white. You, you know, know, when I went as a Spider Man, I just changed my name to Peter Darker. <laughs> oh, God. That was my name with Spider Man, just Peter Darker. Anyway, I know this is a lead into the digital blackface, but you know, I, as a sentient thinking human being, I don't think there's anything wrong with kids dressing up like somebody. It's the same reason I don't think it's wrong for the Wayans brothers or whoever was in that movie, White Chicks, to paint their faces white to be white chicks for well, that we, movie. We've talked about this at great length. You and I can look at things and see the comedic nature in it. Other people just get a little triggered. Yeah. But what digital blackface is, it's like it's taking those memes that we all love memes have been around show me an example show me an example well let, like let me just to everyone knows what digital blackface is it's using a black person to illustrate a point yeah but, show me show me an example so but, i can put it on the screen well some of the most popular some of here's some of my favorite ones my favorite one and we'll start with a couple popular ones this one is called success kid right, we're gonna put that up and success kid his real name is a i think he's a teenager now his name is a sammy griner and he's holding sand in his hand but this meme is always used when someone has conquered a goal. It's like, I did it. That's little, that's, he's called Success Kid. This next one is always a meme favorite. I'm just going to call it Nerdy Guy. And I remember this because we play a game <laughs> called What Do You Mean? What Do You Mean? It's kind of like um, uh, Cards Against Humanity right. but with memes. But yeah. this one is always on there. And this one is always used to illustrate someone who's just kind of gets close but always doesn't cross the finish line. Like this one says, spends all night studying. And then sleeps through the exam. It's like he's, he's almost there, but the, the, the nerd in him, the, the Peter Parker in him, if you guys know anything about Spider-Man, he's always having problems, always having issues, no matter how good he does. <laughs> this one's one of my favorite. I don't know the official name of it, but we're going to call it a... Did you throw it up there? Yeah. Okay. This one is called a Triggered Woman versus Cat. We've seen this a lot, especially uh, during the election. And for those of you who didn't know, 60% of all memes are politically based or, you know, something like that. Just get people did a good laugh. But this one is the, the woman's yelling about something and the cat comes back with some really dry remark like, eh, get over it. You know, <laughs> I love this one. It's awesome. We've all used that one. So uh, basically, so you're leading into digital blackface. So it's basically the use of memes yeah. that are of black people. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. But I'm showing some of the white ones that I've used and I know other people have used as well. How dare you? Yeah, I'm just saying. It's like this is this is another one of my favorites. Uh, this comes from one of my all-time favorite 
animated series, Homer Simpson and the Simpsons. Are they, what, year 25 or something? They're on year 30? They've been out for a while. <laughs> this one is something like, say you would use this meme. I'm giving an example. I wouldn't say this. It'd be like, where are all those people who voted for the current commander-in-chief and say he's going to do an incredible job? Name one thing that he's done that's incredible. And it's like, I've seen uh, I'm going to go back in the bushes there because I really have nothing to say. And I've seen that in GIF form where it's an actually animated, you right. know, going in animated. Right. So you can use... Okay, so anything digital. I get it. All right. Right. All right, so so where did this... Cedric had to tell me about this digital blackface because I didn't know it was a thing. Right. But I guess what digital blackface is saying is that the, the four memes that Brian just put up on the screen is that that's okay. It's okay for me to use. It's okay for you, for you to use. It's okay for Brian to use. Where the problem is is that if that meme contains someone who is black... Is it just black or any POC? I'm going to assume any POC because now you're, you're making fun of them, but... There's some, and I'm going to show you a few that have been around for a long time. They're just funny. I think the memes help, and I use them all the time. I use emojis and stuff when I reply to the comments section. Some of you I've sent memes to, like a, a thumbs up. And I got on Brian like an hour ago because he sent me a thumbs up, but he colored his, he colored his hand. I said, you, you can't use that one. I used his thumbs up that he uses. <laughs> you got to use your thumbs up and make sure the white <laughs> skin color is, is in there. You can't use my dark complexion for a thumbs up. Just so, so I don't get the hate, I did it because we were talking about digital blackface. So I said, like this, and I sent him. <laughs> but then I sent him this right here. So I was laughing. I was sending him a laughing instead of a laughing emoji. I sent him a laughing gif, and it was this guy laughing. Now he's black. So right. Cedric said, that's what you're not allowed to do you're anymore. You're not allowed to do that as a white person. You can't send me a, a black person laughing. But you can send me Homer. Yes. And you can send me the little nerdy kid. What is Homer? Homer's not really white. He's kind of yellow. Tannish yellow. yellow yeah. yeah. I don't know. He's cartoon yellow. Yeah, cartoon yellow. So you can't really do that. But, 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 but Dr. Seuss did cartoon yellow and everybody said it was anti Asian. Yeah, he's, that's why he's canceled. <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorite ones here. I don't know the name of it. Um, yeah, this, one, this was in the game too. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I don't really know the exact name of it. I'm going to call this, for those of you who know the TV series Different Strokes, I'm going to call this. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> and this one's f famous from when someone is looking. It's like he basically starts off with, "So you're telling me," and then whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he says after that, "I love this one." And people from so I couldn't send that to you anymore. You shouldn't be able to send that to me because it, it involves a, an African boy, and you're making fun of him. But I'm not making fun of him. I know. I you know that, and I know that. But they, the people on the left, say, "Nah, you can't do that anymore." This one's one of my favorite. This one has been around for a long time. Uh, let's see, where is she here? Leave out there. It says, um, this lady's name is Kimberly Wilkins, and this is the, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> and, and if you don't know the story about this, I believe she was caught in a, uh, an apartment fire back in Oklahoma City back in 2012. And she was in a, uh, a fire, and they were interviewing her. And they said, well, what happened? She goes, oh, my goodness, Lord, I smell fire. And I smell things burning. And I had to get out of there, leave all my stuff around. Can't be hanging around. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> and that became a catchphrase. A, a, a good friend of mine who I used to work with, and I just, she's a white lady, every time we talked about something and it was something that was silly, she would say, ain't nobody got time for that. And it was funny. Now, I have a question. Let's say she didn't use the meme, but she just used that voice. And she's white. Would they they'd frown upon that too? Oh, definitely. Because she's right trying to sound black. Right. So it was okay though for Eddie Murphy and all the black comedians to say hello there, uh, Cedric, yes. and act like a white guy, right? That's yes. that's hey, you can do it, right? What time are we teeing off today? <laughs> <laughs> so he can do white, but if I were to do that voice, or if I would, you know, like oh, one of my favorite comedians, he's the guy who uh, always talked about going to the John Panette, talked about going mm -hmm. to the buffet. And he would do his Chinese. He'd go to the Chinese buffet, right. and he'd use that voice and go, "You, you know, out of here." And he'd, yeah. he'd say, "I'm sorry. I probably am gonna get yeah. canceled for using that voice." Yeah. His whole skit was that, and he did a free willy, free willy. Yeah. He would not be able to perform now, right? Right, right, right. But we if can't I... even, we can't even have comedy, and we can't even now have digital comedy. Yes, we can't send digital memes. And you have to fact check me on this. And here's here's what I'm saying. Kimberly Wilkins, also known as a Sweet Brown, I believe to date. I don't know how this works with memes, how you get paid for them, but I, was, I think she received like $2 million. Really? Yeah. So I'm thinking, if anybody's out there and you want to make a meme out of me, <laughs> like that's a damn shame or make something with like, 
enormously large teeth and you know they must have licensed it that's why yeah i don't think if it's just put out there on right they probably licensed it but yeah, ha- somehow it, yeah. some way she was yeah. rewarded two million dollars you can meme me all day long <laughs> I do not give a damn. Just don't be mean to you. Just don't be mean to me. <laughs> um, this, this next one here. Oh my goodness. I like so, this one. So you guys get what we're, we're going for here. Did you, in the comments, I know you guys love to comment. Did you know about this digital blackface that it's now taboo? I didn't know it. Yeah. Cedric had to tell me. It's taboo now. This uh, one here, and I, we're going to show the last meme pretty soon where it was kind of the grassroots of all this where it all started but this one was one of my favorite and again i don't know the name they call it i call it uh biding my time brother he's just waiting lurking in the wings waiting for something to happen see i couldn't get away with a suit like that no you I could not you, you have to be black to wear a yellow suit right right i can't believe you just said that <laughs> or lavender isn't it true though <laughs> yeah, yeah you could there was a guy off. who He's passed away, but a guy who used to do the football games, and he always had those outrageous suits, and he was a white guy. Oh. He was the only guy I ever saw, yeah. white guy, yeah. that would yeah. wear these outrageous suits. Right. And I'm not <laughs> making fun of this, but I've seen this meme a lot, like when, let's say, I, I, when President Biden is falling, going up the stairs, or he <laughs> messes up his words, and they say, this is what Kamala looks like, waiting in the wings for her turn to be president. <laughs> so and, they, they, and they use this. They use that one a lot. <laughs> now I couldn't use that. You couldn't use that one. You can use that. Yeah, that's Biden, my time brother. So yeah. where did all where did all this come from? It came from, I think, less than about two weeks ago. It came from one person, the queen of all media, Miss Oprah Winfrey. All right. And I believe this came from the interview she did with uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Oh, so this is recent. This is recent. Okay. It's really recent. And I think people were offended that people were, I think during this time, I think this was during the time, fact check me on this, was in the uh, Meghan Markle said that someone had the audacity to ask her, how dark yeah. do you think the baby will be? And Oprah goes, oh, Lord, oh, my goodness. <laughs> who would... Oh, who like, would say such a thing? Like, like this wasn't scripted beforehand. Right. Someone had the nerve to ask what complexion the baby would be? <laughs> and I guess this is where digital... And so uh, people are using this as a meme now? Yes. Okay. Yes, but you can't use Oprah. And it, it reminds me a lot, and I, and I can say this, it well, reminds me a pretty, lot... She's a pretty oppressed. Yeah, she's a... She's only worth how many Oppressed millions? billionaire. Millions? Yeah. <laughs> when she was interviewing the oppressed millionaires. But remember back in 2008 when Obama came into office... The, the Jimmy Kimmel, late night comedians, they wouldn't touch him. No. You weren't allowed to make jokes about him. They would make complimentary jokes. They would talk about his speech cadence and how well he spoke. Or how so, well he made a three-pointer. three, three pointer. Yes, and they go, oh, Mr. President, we have an important question to ask you. Who do you think is going to win the NCAA tournament this year? <laughs> it's like, oh, Which man. is kind of a racist thing, right? Ask the black guy about basketball. Exactly. That's kind of racist. It's, yeah, exactly. But I guess you can get away with it. Did you guys know that uh, the, uh, the NBA is now sponsored by Hennessy? <laughs> Cedric's drink. <laughs> I, e and J and Christian Brothers. <laughs> but it's like these these idiots spent the entire summer putting strange names on their back, having Black Lives Matter on the floor, kneeling for the anthem. They picked the most condescending drink ever <laughs> to be their spirit of choice. I don't get it. I'm sure the Chinese told them to do that. I don't get it. <laughs> right? Well, I'm sure the Chinese are paying for it. But anyway, that's what um, that's what digital blackface is, and it's it kind of. Is under the umbrella of cancel culture, you know. We're we're just canceling everything, anything that is demeaning to anybody of color. We cancel it or we erase its history. But what if it's not even demeaning? It's just fun. It's like, just fun. Like you do. Yeah. I mean, how many times have I called you and mimicked, you know, a white voice? Yeah. You That's know? why I said you're allowed to do it, but yeah. <laughs> which I shouldn't be. And you you said things to me. We're not going to share on video now, but. <laughs> And we laugh about it. Yeah, I mean that's why I said it shouldn't be offensive. No. It's what did it's a what damn did, shame. A damn shame. What did Tom McDonald, one of his songs, said? We grew up with uh, South Park, yet we're all offended, right? Yeah, something like that. Up, yeah, we're all offended. Those of you who haven't watched any of our Tom McDonald uh, reviews, not reactions, right, reviews. Um, he even mentions that he goes, "Why is this group of people the ones that get offended by everything, and they grew up watching the most offensive stuff?" Because it's our generation, too, that gets offended. And we grew up watching Archie Bunker and the Jeffersons. Oh, yeah. We've said this over and over again. We're just, uh, and I've said this in the comments to several of you who have, who have uh, remarked on this. Hopefully we'll get to the point where cancel culture just eventually cancels itself out. I mean, this pendulum's going to swing so far left, it's, it's got to tip over eventually. It's got to. 
And then well, hopefully things can right themselves again. I got a good lead in from this Oprah one. What's that? Let's ask what our viewers what they think of this mock up that that you had done of our faces. Oh, well, you just want to show them. This is a, a good friend of mine's daughter. Uh, she did this for us. We're thinking about having a new logo here. Well, Cedric wanted to do something like the Unity thing, like, you know, the hands, but the hands has been overused so much with the white hand and the black hand. Um, I thought, hey, let's do half of our faces. Right. And um, so I was messing around with it, but, you know, I'm, I'm not an artist. So what's her name? Give her a shout out. Jordan. Jordan Paquette. Jordan. So she did this, and um, I said, I need to do it some where I can do it on print where it's just two color. So black and white, obviously. You can see our theme. So she did this, and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. We'll put a full screen right here. I told you she had to fill in my hairline just a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> I, said just, I said embellish a little bit. <laughs> and uh, so you let us know what you think. Um, you know, yes. we're not sure what we're going to do with it yet, but I think it's a cool little logo. And then we, I want to put somewhere on there, E Pluribus Unum. I want to put Unity. Right. Because that's what the left has been preaching, but they've been doing a terrible job of doing it. Right. But they're, you know, they've already used that word. But yeah. this, if you look on every coin, every dollar bill, every any, any currency in this country, look in there, it says e, the trilogy. Right. E pluribus unum, which means from many, one. We're all Americans. In God we trust and liberty. Yes. Those are the three things. So I thought, let's show. We're showing unity. Like Cedric said, and we could put unity there too, but how about E Pluribus Unum? Let me know what you think. This is why I break out into song. U N I T Y. Oh, yeah, I told you not to do that last U N I T Y. Unity. Sorry. Didn't we, um, didn't we promise <laughs> viewers that you wouldn't do that anymore? I am not an employee you, of Cedric and Brian. You actually did. <laughs> you did a pretty good Beastie Boys, though. I, I like when you did that one. No, I won't do it again. You have to go back and watch our video for that. So, uh, should we do a comment? Yeah, absolutely. But before we do that, how many of you have heard of this digital blackface taboo. You know, it's just another part of cancel culture, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. The segregation will never stop. Right, right. Again, as we, I say all the time, Martin Luther King is spinning in his grave, you know. He tried to fight against segregation, and now every single thing in popular culture has to be segregated. Hey, the Academy Awards are coming out, and they've got those new categories now. You yeah. Know, you have to remember, you have to be a certain oh, 30%. yeah. yeah. Women, POC, LGBT, whatever. It's yeah. so dumb. Yeah. It's not what's the best one for the job or no. the best actor or anything now. It's it's like Joe. Like he's, he always comes out and, and his spokesperson, when they ask about something, well, that's the first fill in the blank. That's the first female. That's the first transgender. transgender. The first black. First Asian. So basically for the uh, health secretary... All he did is put a man in the job and yes. that calls herself <laughs> Rachel Levine. Why, well, if you think about it, though, that's a very sneaky way for cis, heterosexual white males to get back into the... Yeah, exactly. I know. Dress up as a Mrs. Doubtfire and, yeah, and well, take the we job. We know they're doing it in sports. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> that's crazy. A, that's a topic for a past video. Today's comment is from uh, that video we did regarding the, sh the terrible shooting about the uh, massage parlor. Yes. Uh, last week. Uh, so we did a video about that. And this is from Red Dog... I like that name. Kind of a gangster. Red Dog. Anyway, he says... Is he red? And a I dog? Know. I don't know. Or does he identify as a red dog? You're killing the joke. You're killing it. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, here we go. He says... Red. Great video. It's sad today's media shovels feeds hatred. It kind of makes me sad after all the things this country has gone through that they choose to fuel the fire instead of bringing people together. WTF. Which stands for... Why the face? <laughs> But not, <laughs> but not the digital blackface. <laughs> Why the face <laughs> ever happened to real journalists anyway? Uh, that's a great comment, Red Dog. I think I responded to that one um, toward the end there. So whatever happened to real journalists? And I said, I don't think we've seen real journalists until the days of uh, Walter Conkright and Peter Jennings. Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, the real journalism isn't gone because nowadays it's not, right, it's not about getting the right information out. It's about whoever's first to get it out. And you worry about being right later, yeah. if at all. And you know what's funny is Walter Cronkite did lean left, but at least it wasn't over like it is now. Right. He, he still tried to be a journalist first. Yeah. Well, he put um, the information out there, and he let us decide. Yeah. You know, remember John Stossel? He used yes. to do those. So he went, he got a, won a bunch of Emmys for calling out capitalists, you know, businesses. Right. right. And now that he's shifted and kind of calls out the cancel culture, mm -hmm. now he's been canceled. Of course. It's so funny. He of wins course. Emmys just like... Yeah. Like uh, good old governor of New York won an yes. Emmy 
yeah <laughs> before <laughs> that's gonna be taken away where is all these people who are praising him rosie perez spike lee uh where are they now yeah haven't heard from them hey they're they're doing this homer hiding oh, in the yeah. bushes <laughs> but you can't use that at home. Oh, they can use it. Home. It's Homer's white. I can use it. Yes, you can use it. But anyway, uh, we forgot to do something in the first 30 seconds. We forgot our call to action. Uh, are we still using the promo code to order the hats? Yes, absolutely. So, promo code C and B 10, and you'll get 10% off of our hats. And yes, we do have the camel hat. I know somebody wanted us to, to show it. We haven't. Yes. We, I ordered mine, that it's coming. Did you get mine? I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I ordered ours. Um, they're coming. Then we'll we'll wear those for you. But uh, use that that promo code C and B ten. Get ten percent off your hats right now. Right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, we'll be doing some uh, more videos in the future. Summer's coming up. We'll probably do some more Tom McDonald stuff and some other artists as well uh, to keep that going. But in the meantime, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you ring that bell. And share our videos with everyone you know. And comment, comment. And comment. Yes. Yes. He loves the comments because he's he's kind of the one who answers the comments. Because I do the editing. So I said, you do the comments. But now, <laughs> I think our last Tom McDonald video had like 158 comments in the first, you know, half a day. I enjoy it. So I said, good luck. Good luck. Enjoy, no, you learn a lot. Cause, I mean, that's a... And we had a new viewer who, I think he's left 50 comments just by himself. She's been responding to his own comments. It's kind of weird. It saves you the job. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, I don't have to answer this one. He's already responded to it. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're having fun. Anyway, you guys uh, be safe out there, and we'll see you next time. I'm Cedric. And I'm Ryan.